Hi, my name is Iran, and I like to play role-playing games, and I like to play a lot of D&D. And since I play adventure leagues, and I run adventure league, I do a lot of uh, character creating and theory crafting, and hence these character building videos. Um, today I would like to discuss the champion swashbuckler uh, combination, which is supposed to be a lightweight fighter, which are which can output a lot of damage very quickly and also be useful in other ways because of high stealth and proficiencies and let's get into the nitty gritty. First of all, this is, uh, is my text file. If you want to just pause and take a look, you can pause now. You can pause now. And you can pause now. And now you have everything. Now that I've put it aside, I can show you how I do it more technically. First, you create your character. I use DND Beyond because it's very convenient. Turn off everything you don't really want. I don't know what it's, why it's taking so long. And we use milestones, hit point fixed, keep feats, keep the multi class, and anything else is the way you want it. Start by with ability scores. Uh, this is Adventures League, so we use point by, and we need high dexterity, decent constitution, don't really care about intelligence, some wisdom, and your next highest important stat is charisma. Why do they get two 15s? Well, because of the race choice. We go with Variant Human. With Variant Human, because of the most important thing, why we choose Variant Human is because of the feet. First of all, use Goblin. It's a nice. Uh, the, the build is kind of a urban bounty hunter, uh, jaded person. So Goblin is kind of street language. We pick Dexterity and Charisma to up those. For skills, we have high Charisma, so we lean into Deception, not Stealth. I'll show you why in a minute. And for feet, we go with dual wielding. Because that's the build. Lots and lots of hits. So we go into deep class customization, we go with backgrounds, and my pretty much all-time favorite is Open Bounty Hunter. This is where you pick stealth and persuasion, lean into those that disc start and charisma skills, pick your thieves tools, pretty much the most important tool, and uh, whatever kind of instrument or play thing you want, and go with flute. After we chose those, we're going to start into class because we need the class before we go into equipment. We start off with Fighter 1. Fighter 1 gives us decent hit points with prof all proficiencies required uh, for weapons. Then we go with Intimidation, lean into those charisma skills. And perception is just always a good thing. Uh, yeah, this is a fighter face. And with two weapon fighting allows you to add your ability modifier to the damage of your second attack. Uh, which is very good. Second level is in fighter. We get action, action surge. And third level, you get your martial archetype, which we go with Champion, better to deal out high damage. Champion gets improved critical. Very good, it says we always aim to hit with advantage and use that. We'll show you how to get advantage later. Now we can choose our starting, starting equipment. Go with equipment, take the chainmail, sell it, you can get a chain shirt. It's going to cost a little bit more, but it's useful. Get two martial weapons, two rapiers. Now you have the best finesse weapon you can use. Uh, black crossbow just for something ranged, and whatever pack is useful in your campaign. Now that we have our equipment, if you take your chainmail and sell it, you get uh, 25, 37 and a half. So add 37 and a half. And 
me if you get a chain shot. Chain wave is heavy armor, we don't want it, we want medium armor. It's slightly less, but you add dexterity and it costs you 50. And now we can pay for it. Use 50 and you're all set. Well, armor, bolts, crossbow, and your rapiers. Can't set it to bonus attack yet. Now, for the rest, for level 4, we add rogue. One level of rogue gives you good proficiencies. For example, you can go with insight, also a good thing. And we take expertise in the most in the two most important things, stealth and thieves tools. Now you can pretty much sneak anywhere and open anything. And sneak attack, very useful when you get those criticals. Level, then fight or fall. For the ability score improvement, take dex. It improves everything that's important. Then fight or five gives you that extra, extra attack, and now you can attack three times in a turn, two for actions and one for bonus action. For level se seven, we take rogue two, and now we have cunning action with the ability to hide or disengage as a bonus action. But the cool thing comes at level three, when we go with swashbuckler. Black Bachelor gives you like a short destiny, which pretty much gives you charisma bonus to in initiative, which means you'll start first most of the times, and you don't need advantage to sneak attack, which you can use it, use it even more times. And this is also nice, basically gives you half the mobile feed for free. Next is Fighter 6. And with Fighters you get a lot more ability score improvements, so Bring your decks up to 20. Yes, 30 is now 20. Then we go with Rogue 4 to get another ability score improvement. But we take a feat. Because we are not uh, we are a champion, we can't do Battlemaster, but we can take Martial Adept. Martial Adept. Martial Adept gives you two maneuvers with a d6, which you can use for this arming attack, this arming attack, which is just nice you, nice, you knock someone's weapon away and your partner can pick it up and no more weapon. But the cool thing is repost. With repost, when the creature misses you, which should happen because you're gonna get good AC, you can use your reaction and spend a superiority dice to make a melee attack against that creature. If you hit, add a superiority damage, add your sneak attack damage, which at a uh, rogue level 3 is now 2d6. Yes, now you can use sneak attack more than once per round. Then we go with rogue 5, which grants you uncanny dodge, useful to keep alive, and your uh, sneak attack is now 3d6. And now we're going to finish it off with fighter levels. Just go all the way. And now you have fighter 7, you get a remarkable athlete, athlete which adds less proficiencies to strength and dexterity and constitution checks. For the level 8 uh, ability score improvement, we take another feat, which we'll use to get magic initiate. Wizard. Just to use some cool things, we'll take Mage Hand, which is almost always useful to pick stuff up. Uh, if you need to boost your charisma skills, pick up friends for the advantage. But the most important thing, find Familiar. With your Familiar, you get advantage every time you want it. At ninth, you get Indomitable, which you can use once to reroll a saving throw. At level 10, you get an additional fighting style, which will take defense, keep that defense up. And at level 11, another extra attack, which now uh, you can attack four times in a round, with your full bonus. At fighter 12, 
just for the hell of it, we take tough. Means you have a lot more hit points now. And at level 14, we get another feat, which is medium armor master, which allows you to uh, boost your, your defense a bit more. And uh, if you happen to have medium armor that causes a disadvantage, you don't have it anymore on your stealth checks. You can mess with those. Mr. Fits around however you feel like it, maybe take the uh, Find Familiar first, uh, take a Magic Initiate earlier to uh, get more advantage. And at 15 you get Superior Critical, which now you can hit a critical on an 18 or 20, which is the most important thing. You're going to get critical a lot more often. I can actually, uh, I'll show you the math at the end of it. Apparently my video cut out at the end, so I'll do this section all over again. This is my... Uh, Full build of the champion swashbuckler. You can see very nice stats, plus 11 initiative, with the best equipment you can find with a breastplate plus 3, everything plus 3. This is what you get. Calculation. You get uh, the plus 3 to dexterity because of medium armor master, the fighting style, and the dual wielder. And you get plus 14 to hits. You can do this thing four times per turn with sneak attack. And uh, you get plus 1d10 plus 15 with the second wind, uh, one extra surge per short rest, indomitable twice per long rest, plus 17 to stealth and thieves tools, decent perception and insight, decent saving throws, and plus 11 initiative because of remarkable athletes, which allows me to add another plus 3 to strength, dexterity, and contracts that don't have proficiency, and a lot of hit points. And now I said I'll show you the math. This is the math. Basically, it means that if you roll with advantage, you have a 66% chance to hit with a superior critical. That means an 18, 19, or 20. This is insane. But that's the champion swashbuckler for you. Thank you for watching. I'll have uh, links to everything I do down in the doobly-doo. And leave your comments and responses in the comments below. Thank you for watching.